Welcome back to Wreck Outdoors. We're back in the wood yard this morning. Very overcast day, and I'm not sure we, we're not going to get wet here in a little while. Pretty dark clouds. Uh, Tracked to need some diesel fuel. We're going to split. Uh, I'm going to have my steel 36 inch bar. We're going to cut up a couple pieces to run through the splitter later on. Wife's got something to do this morning. So I'm gonna give you a, a updated tour of the wood yard. I want to show you again. I showed this a couple times on my uh, on the channel. Best gas diesel fuel can out there. It's called the Sure Can. Not sponsored by these. I, I bought these at Track Supply with my own money. I have three of them, but they are the best cans I have found for gas and my diesel fuel. Put the diesel fuel in here when you go to get it pumped, pull this out, stick it in, and pull the trigger. No leaks, no drips, no nothing. It's not like these new government gas cans. These are pretty expensive. They're probably twice as much as a regular good gas can. I think Tret Supply has them for $59. But I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use it putting diesel fuel in my tractor before we take a tour of the wood yard. Oh. And all you gotta do is pull that trigger. Very easy. I hear a deer blowing me in the woods and evidently they don't like me down here in the wood yard this morning because she's raising sand. If you don't get diesel fuel all over your tractor, when you get finished, all you gotta do is just let go of that trigger. Wait about five seconds. And you're good to go. Sure can. Check them out. Like I say, trap supply, they're like $59. Worth every penny. Like I say, I own three. That's the wood there we're gonna be slicing up here in a little while. Of course, I got Rosie down here. This is the latest bunker. It's two pallets across the, the bottom and it is full of nothing but red oak. This bunker here is all hickory. It goes to my barbecue houses. So that's number two bunker. I got three and I got four. I, I cut these in half. Uh, the farthest one has got all red oak in it. This one right here is all white oak. I've got some people that likes white oak, prefer white oak over red oak, anything else. So I just count that as the third bunker. And I hadn't, and all of you watching, I hadn't got down here to cut the grass yet. We have been so busy. This is probably next to the last bunker I filled. It's too wide, it's just like the first bunker you've seen. It is all red oak. So that is one, two, three, four bunkers. This bunker here will probably go uh, be ready maybe by January it's all red oak so that's number five bunker this is number six bunker half of it 
it's new. This is new. Where that tarp is up there, over there, half that bunker, it's ready to go this year. That's why I've got it covered up. Somebody wants something for camping. It'll stay drier. So that's all my bunkers to previous to. That's all my bunkers to date. So I got six big bunkers. We got some seasoned log. I call them seasoned log. This, this tree was dead. We got to work it up, but it won't take much time for it to season. That's probably a week or two away. We're going to start cutting on it. But I've got a bunch of logs. Gonna get a couple pieces out of that. That, that crotchy part there and, and this crotchy part here, probably work around it. There's some good wood still left in there. Good log there. We got some dead, good red oak logs here that needs to be cut up and put in a bunker because it won't take long. Good logs still laying in there that needs cleaning up. I got some pieces already cut and these come out. Hadn't really showed this much, but I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces of hickory here. Uh, two uh, oak pieces there. It's hard to get hickory down here in South Carolina. Everybody wants it. Still got some, a good piece there. It's been here a while. It just ain't, ain't got to it yet. A lot of logs here. Now, I've got hickory in these baskets down through there that's ready to go to barbecue pit. I'll probably take a load of it next week. And I've got approximately 65 totes here that will be sold this year. All these here will be sold this year. They will be sold first. This one here, starting right here, that way will not be sold this year. But they're scattered up through there. I need to clean this up. If I can put these totes, bring these totes and bring them on down. So, the dilemma I got is my bunkers, I can't go no more that way. Because I need for the log trucks to come in and go out and turn around. A lot of times they'll come in, pull here and back down this way. And if I put another bunker up there, it'll get in their way. But in the past, I used to stack wood and I may have to again. I don't want to. But we used to stack, have seven rows, seven face cores here, seven, 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 and two on average. Yes, you used to hold 30 face cords of wood. Now, what I could do was put pallets across the back and just make this a bunker, make that a bunker, just have one, two, three, four bunkers, and just throw it in. But would you do that or would you stack it? That's the question. Leave a comment. That can go, that probably go, that would be gone here shortly. That's That wood and that wood is ready to go out. So I'm thinking about making bunkers here instead of stacking. This bunker here and that bunker there, that's for the, if you been and watch our videos long enough he's got a two foot he can use two to three foot length in a fireplace and that's his wood 
But I've got that area right here that we stack wood right there. It's still about two face cores there. I'm probably still going to stack that right there for a Pacific customer that's uh, he's got a food truck. But the only thing about that one there is it doesn't get sun. You got this big old oak tree here, sawtooth oak tree that's blocking it. And it takes a while to season wood there. Everything else I have out here is wide open. So that's a tour of the wood yard and the wood we still got to work up. It's just some cutting yards and pine straw in the summertime. I don't have as many hours like I do in the wintertime. So, would you make those bunkers, throw it in, or would you stack it? Leave a comment and let me know. I would appreciate it. So that's the two of a wood yard today. Hadn't gave them one, like I said, hadn't gave them one in a while. So, man, that's a pretty oak log. Have a lot of comments. Yes, we get 90% of our wood is pretty much oak. That's what our customers prefer. That's what I like. It burns good. Like I say, 75% of our customers use it for heat. So that's what we go with. Leave your comment about the bunker, whether you stack it or would you make bunkers. So we're going to let you go. Let me throw more white. I'm, I, gotta, I know this is going long. What I could do. I don't want to do this. I want to leave this drive right here open. I could make a long bunker that way. A long bunker. That way I can come around and load it. I can either get out of this, pull a trailer up through here, get out of this pile, or get out of this pile. So that's the option. Bunkers over there. Or clean this mess up and make a long bunker going this way, not that way, but straight up down through here. Leave a comment. Hope y'all having a great day. Rose, you got anything you want to say? Let's go cut some wood. Y'all have a great day. This is Wreck Outdoors.